Now, when we went under COVID-19, there's a section of individuals who have been making requests that there should be an amendment with the National Social Security Fund. Now, the long-awaited bill this time around comes to Parliament. Next week, the Speaker of the Ugandan Parliament, Rebecca Alituala Kadaga, mentioned this while meeting workers' uh, union members and also representatives of workers in Parliament, including Adinaitwe Rakajara. Details in this report, as we seek an expert opinion, how does this impact on the economy and as well the livelihood of individuals that are making a contribution to the fund? Recently, NSSF has been pressurized more than ever. The National Social Security Fund is a fund responsible for the mandatory savings for the biggest part of the employment sector in the country. Many employees think this is the time for them to get paid and they want their benefits during this time. They want the institution to break the former trend where they used to pay people at a certain age and also when they have accumulated a given income, the people no longer want to wait. I talked to a meeting to pick from an expert if the government can bow down to the pressure from people. NSSF is a, is a fund that is uh, created by law and uh, it creates an obligation, a duty on people to save. It's actually a saving by force, but your money. So that money, if that money is yours and someone is moving an amendment to the law, because currently under the NSSF Act you cannot access your benefits until you have reached a particular age that is set in the law until you have passed on died. Wamene describes NSSF as a fund for the people. Being a fund, people need money, more so in the COVID-19 era. Council Wamene say this is a great idea. Especially in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, I think it, is a, it should be a welcome idea that should be looked at objectively because if it's my money, much as you're forcing me to save for my future or even my passing on to my estate, I still should be able to benefit from that money if the conditions currently demand that I access the money. True, there is a plan to ease the process of acquiring savings, but the government and other authorities have delayed on this. We looked at the NSSF Amendment Act Bill of 2020. To me, it will pass because, in my opinion, it doesn't really carry much for the people who want to, to access their money before time. Because when I read the bill, unless it's, there's been some change, there is a provision for what they call mid-term access to benefits. says maybe the government has invested money and that's the cause for the delay. When you ask them to actually confirm whether that money is there, you will see that one of the reasons they say they don't want to amend the law is because some of this money has been invested in, in security bonds, in, in uh, fixed deposits and uh, all those. The new bill is a long-awaited one in Parliament, but will it pass? What I expected is that the bill is going to amend the current act to provide that even if you have not clocked that age where you are supposed to access your benefits, or even if you have not died, because of the prevailing circumstances like COVID, you can access your money, at least part of it now. But why are the benefits or the saved money difficult to withdraw? Naturally speaking, I will not be interested in people who are withdrawing their benefits. But yet on the other side, it would market them more if collecting benefits becomes easy. Accessing benefits, including mid-term access to benefits, makes it marketable. People now start saving because they know that in the realizable future, I can be able to withdraw my funding. So NSSF is a national fund that very many people don't know about. Wameli says they need to publicize it more than ever. They need to up their, 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 their strategy, their public communications. Then number two, they need to, to, to soften or to, to lessen the stringent conditions that people go through to collect or to realize their money. The times are tough and the country is by and large going through a very hard time. Protests, riots, strike demonstrations. Times call for tough measures. If, if, if the going gets tough, it's the tough that get going. First of all, now people are starting to realize that they have a role they, they must play in good governance. Gone are the days when people thought that it's about government. People are now waking up and realizing that, hey, government must give us food. The, the statement to Saba government at Yambe is, is, uh, is now passing. Tulagira government at Yambe is going to be the model of the day that people demand good services, good governance. So the incidents are many, only that you have 
cited that one. I have instructions for that young man from Busoga to either secure his police bond or secure his court bail in case he goes, but to defend him because he, he will have his own reasons why he did what they claim he wanted to do. Paul Collins for Now TV.